My name is Barrett, Assistant Sheriff, Los Angeles County. In the case you're about to see, Los Angeles County was under siege by a wandering killer. Headline writers named him the Sniper. He murdered an attractive woman in East Los Angeles, then one in Pasadena. He roamed the entire county. He killed a third woman, then a fourth. People stopped saying, will he strike again? And asked instead, who will be next? Good morning, darling. Uh -huh. yeah, that sniper's at it again. Shot a woman over near Pasadena. What's happening to people? Because they don't even know what he looks like. Apparently, he just roams around the countryside, and when the mood strikes him, he shoots at the first woman he sees. I can't even read the papers anymore. George, I have to deliver a painting I sold, so I'll take the station wagon today. Okay. Want a little hut? No, thank you. Hope he doesn't get out here to Malibu. Intrigues me. Might be anyone, any one of five million people. May not even be a he. Let's talk about something pleasant. Obviously, you don't mean the real estate business. I'll get it. Hello? Yes, Wally? It did. Why? Well, I don't know why I sound so surprised. Okay. I'll see you at the office. Bad news? Naturally. Yesterday, we'd almost signed a deal for ten houses on the track, and they just called to say it was off. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Well, I'm due at the gallery. See you tonight. Mm. Oh, George, would you carry Roger's picture out to the car for me? Roger's picture. I'd be delighted to get rid of it. I thought you liked it. It's like Roger. It doesn't wear very well. I'm giving him a one-man show, you know. You sure are. You talked about nothing else all week. Oh, George. You're jealous. <laughs> Bless you. This is Marie Fair, La Belle Marie Art Gallery. Next Sunday, we are holding a one-man show featuring the paintings of Roger Dale, one of the most promising contemporary painters in America. The show will run for 10 days. You will? Thank you very much. Goodbye. Tell me more. Oh, Roger. The show was supposed to be a surprise birthday present for you. <laughs> You're wonderful. Well, as long as you're here, you might as well help me. Oh, but I can't do manual labor. I'm an artist. You take off your jacket. I've had enough temperament for one day. Uh-huh. Trouble in paradise? Forget that I said that. Marie, please don't tell me it's none of my business. If you're having trouble with George, well, you know how I feel about you. I'd like to make it my business. I'm a big, strong girl, Roger. Yes, I know that, but I want you to know... There's nothing wrong with George that selling a few houses won't cure. Sunday ad. Now, across the top here, no money down. Then the pictures of the houses and the descriptions. And along the bottom here, open all day Sunday. Mm-hmm. Fine. All right, what is it? What's wrong with it? Why, nothing. Don't you want to help me? Of course I do. 
I just don't want to start a scene. Fine. Now we can't even talk to each other. Well, all right. I do have a notion that might work. I was thinking about it on the way home. Now, most people who buy these houses are young people with young children. Uh-huh. It must be a problem to go house hunting with children. It is. So why not advertise a free circus? A circus? Yes, you hire a few clowns and a couple of acts, and then the people can leave their kids there while they go house hunting. Brilliant. Don't you like it? I didn't marry a woman. I married Univac. You know all the answers. You know how to build oh, a house. I was only trying to help you. All right, do it yourself. You put the ad in the paper, hire the circus, and go out there on Sunday and sell the houses, and good luck to you. Oh, George, where are you going? Some place where I can be right. George! George, what happened? Somebody shot at me. Are you hurt? Oh, they missed hit the car. Did you say who it was? No. Sheriff's office? Wasn't this 116? Oh. You sit down. I'll call. Hurry, please. You even have to be better at dialing a telephone. Sheriff's office? Mr. Sand? Uh -huh. Yeah. Lieutenant Harper. Oh. Sergeant Todd? That's Mrs. Thayer. How do you do? How do you do? Well, according to the report from the deputies, the shot missed you and hit your car, is it correct? That's right. Marie, I was the one that was being shot at. See if you can find the slug. It hit the convertible. Right. I was only saying to my wife this morning that I hoped the sniper wouldn't come out as far as Malibu. It doesn't sound like the sniper to me. It doesn't? Who else could it be? The sniper never took a shot at a man. Maybe he didn't intend to this time. You see, I was using her car. Oh? She had to carry some paintings and that. So I had his station wagon. I see. Now, you told the deputies you had no idea who might want to shoot you. That's right. You know where the shot came from? Oh, just across the highway. I didn't hear any car pull out, though. Do you know of anyone who'd want to shoot you? Me? No. Well, it might be the sniper. It might be some crackpot. It's hard to say. It's on the floor on the right side. Nick the body just back at the door and passed through the backrest. Were you getting in or out of the car when it happened? I was getting in. I just opened the door and the little safety light flashed. And when it came on, I heard the shot. It might be the sniper after all. You think so? You can't tell for sure. The slugs are badly damaged. We couldn't compare it with the ones we know he fired. It's the same caliber, though, 22. Hi. Is it straight? Oh, lift the left side about an inch or so. I didn't expect to see you here. Why not? Well, you know, after last night. How is George? Fine. How did you know about last night? Well, I heard it on the radio coming in. When? This morning. You sure he's all right? Fine. I, uh, didn't notice any police out front. Why would there be police? Aren't they protecting you and George? No. And please, Roger, I came in today to get my mind off the accident. Is this any better? Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have done that.
Don't know why I can't see my own wife. Nobody can right now. The lieutenant's up there. You said so. He's talking to the doctors. Are you the one who called the ambulance? What did you want me to do? Let her lie on the driveway until you got there? They wouldn't even let me ride with her. I'd drive here by myself. You said last night you couldn't think of anyone who'd want to shoot you. Does your wife have any enemies? I don't know. She must have. What do you mean? Well, she's in business. She's successful. That means she outsmarts her competitors. Now, sometimes men in business don't like smart women. They don't usually hate them this much. That depends on how many times she's made them feel they don't know anything. Made them feel ordinary, unimportant. Did she ever mention anyone in particular? No. No, I don't think so. Then the sniper didn't have any reason for shooting the other women either. I don't think this was a sniper. You don't? Well, we really haven't established a pattern for him, but this doesn't fit what little we do know. So far, he's taken a shot and either hit or missed. I don't understand. He's never come back to finish any of the others he missed. Well, I'm not going to wait any longer. You're a lucky man, Thea. She's all right? She's fine. The doctor says you can take her home in a day or two as soon as she's over the shock. They got this log out nice and clean. Where is she? Still upstairs. You can see her now. Get this to the lab. It ought to test perfectly. Bad idea? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those two days in hospital weren't long enough. You need a good, long, long rest. George, stay close to me. Of course, dear. You know, I've never been afraid before. But I am now. I was talking to Dr. Allen about us taking a trip. He thinks it's a fine idea. So I made some reservations. We could go up to Tahoe. Get a little cottage on the quiet side of the lake. But we could be alone, just the two of us. But my leg, it'll be weeks before Our I... Our doctor's in Reno. Dr. Allen's making those arrangements. It sounds wonderful. I'll be right back. Hello, George. Oh, hi. How's Marie? As well as can be expected. I'll give these to her. What can I... Uh... Can I see her? Doctor's orders. She had nerves are shut. Was there... Is there anything I can do? No, thanks. Oh, uh... By the way... Your show's off, of course. We're going on a trip. These took long enough getting here. Thank you. Beautiful. I'll uh, tell you what it says. <laughs> These are from a man who loves you very much. Oh, thank you, darling. You're welcome. I better put them in a vase and go pack. You ought to get started first thing in the morning. But we can't, George. I have to go to the gallery. Roger's show open Sunday. You're not going to the gallery or any place else. Not until that sniper is caught. But, George, I... No, I'm not going to leave you alone. Now, don't you understand? Someone... Well, there's no other way of putting it. Someone is trying to kill you. George, the other day when it happened, you said that you were coming home from the office. That's right. Now, your car was parked. Yes? Nothing. Dear, you've had a terrible few days. Now, you just relax and let me worry about things, huh? I found where the sniper was when he shot Mrs. Thayer. You did? Any idea who it is? Not yet. May I see Mrs. Thayer? 
very dark. She's asleep. I see. Well, if she's feeling better, I can see her tomorrow. Oh, that's not possible. We're leaving tomorrow. For where? We're sort of going on a second honeymoon. Excuse me. Marie! Honey, you've got a rest. Now, you tell me what you want. I'll get it for you. Nothing. Now, what is it, huh? Nothing. I'm all right. Of course you are. You're safe here. Who was it? Oh, it's a car salesman. I don't know if we're interested in trading our cars. Don't touch me. You know, what is it? I heard you talking outside. You did? The door was open. Why did you tell him I was asleep? Well, I didn't want them bothering you, that's all. Just trying to keep your mind off the accident. I've got a terrible headache. I'll get you an aspirin. strong enough. So, when I told him I found the place where the sniper was when he shot Mrs. Sayer, he looked up the hill, right at the place I found. What's all this about tobacco? I found some shreds of tobacco up on the hill and cigarette papers. He clinches his butts like this. I saw him do it. Lieutenant, I tell you, he's our man. Sound like he might be. And I got to remember him coming back in. He even told me his motive at the hospital. She's too smart for him. Makes him feel unimportant. We can't make an arrest. We'd be laughed out of court. He's taking her on a trip. He'll kill her while they're away. You can't stop a husband from taking his wife on a vacation. Even if he intends to kill her? Can we prove it? Try to get some sleep, dear. Sure ourselves. Brought a technician from the lab in case we find anything. We're leaving. How's Mrs. Thayer? Not too well. You won't want to see us, Lieutenant, will you? No, not just yet. That's the car Mr. Thayer was getting out of when the sniper took a shot at him. See what you can find, will you? Lieutenant, I'd like to ask you a favor. Sure, what is it? As I was saying, Mrs. Thayer's not feeling too well and in fact, she's on the edge of a nervous breakdown. Sorry to hear that. When I bring her out here, if she sees you fellas, she's liable to, oh, scream or you say anything, you know. About what? You know what nervous people say. I'd like to spare her that kind of embarrassment. We'll do anything we can to help. I knew you'd understand, Lieutenant. If you fellas would just go someplace until we leave, I'd be very grateful. Do you mind if we leave the man from the lab behind? She'd see him when she came out. You could tell her he's from the insurance company. 
I could do that. Everything's all right, dear. Don't be frightened. I'm not frightened anymore. Good. Lieutenant, I, I don't quite know how to say this, but... I'm afraid my husband is quite sick. <laughs> Me? Not physically. Oh, George, why did you do it? Why did you shoot me? See what I mean? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Let her have her say. Please, Mrs. Thayer, what makes you think your husband is trying to harm you? His behavior the past few days. Plus the fact that he said he was on his way home from the office when this happened. I was. I told you about that. I came in the driveway, almost ran it down. Pardon me. Go ahead, Mrs. Thayer. George came home before I did. He was here when it happened. How do you know? His car was here. It was parked in the garage. She couldn't see things clearly. She was being shot at. She was hysterical. Not when she pulled in the driveway. Please help me. You don't need them, dear. I'll help you. I'm afraid that we're going to have to get on our way. We got a long trip ahead of us. And Mrs. Stair says she doesn't want to go. No, I don't want to. I'm taking her away under doctor's orders. You know all this is nonsense, so will you, dear, as soon as you're over it. I'm beginning to resent this. I can understand that. How's it coming, Sergeant? Just about ready, Lieutenant. What's he doing to my car? Just trying to prove something. Three or four feet at the outside. Well, sir, you threw it for a while when you told us that the sniper took a shot at you. He did. You gone crazy, too? See these spots? We applied a reagent. Those are gunpowder spots that show the shot was fired not more than four feet from the car. You fired that shot. You took advantage of the headlines. You knew our real sniper was loose. shot and I told you about the sniper so you'd feel sorry for me so you'd stop always being smarter than me but you didn't you went right ahead trying to show me how stupid I was I couldn't stand that come on let's get it over with George Thayer was charged with the felonious assault on a wife. The real sniper, who had shot seven women, was captured shortly afterwards and under questioning confessed. He was convicted and sentenced to the gas chamber at San Quentin Prison. Now may I present Eugene W. Biscalus, Sheriff of Los Angeles County. Friends, during the production, a deputy sheriff is present at all times to assure you of the authenticity in our stories. We hope you'll join us again next week for another true case from our files. Thank you very much.